1057 The Hawk, classic rock for the Jersey Shorts, the Free Bear and Hawk Show on a Friday morning. Once again, we're talking with Rich DeSisto. He's the new afternoon guy starting on 1057 The Hawk this afternoon. Make sure you tune in and give him a Jersey Shore welcome. He's a Jersey guy, started out in New York, but got a chance to come to his senses yeah, with his he, family. He, he got yeah. on track. He got on track. Yeah. Uh, now, radio stories, we love hearing radio stories. I think the audience and the listeners of The Hawk like pulling those curtains back. What's something you've had happen in your radio story that if you go to a conference or when you're meeting new coworkers here at The Hawk, you're like, okay, well, I know that happened to you, but this is the story that happened to me. Because everybody's got about a dozen of them. Well, it, there's a funny story that I tell all the time when we used to play records, you know, talk about the, the length of time in the business and right. all the changes with the media. Uh, so I was uh, working at a, at a Jersey Shore station uh, back in the 90s, and we were playing a Jimi Hendrix song on, on the turntable there. And uh, uh, I come in, and unfortunately, I, I bumped the, 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 the table where the turntable was on, and the needle went up, the tone arm went backwards and dropped back down on the same cut of the song. And it didn't make a difference. It sounded exactly yes. the same. It's Jimi <laughs> Hendrix. It was so it was funny. I was, I was balling on the floor. It was the funniest moment. It was like, wow. Gosh, how, how great is it that one of your biggest errors resulted in like not a disaster? It was flawless yeah, it's like victory, man. man. That's, I know, yeah, right? I, I, can't, I can't say I, I, I invented backwards masking, but, you know, Hendrix, <laughs> Hendrix and the Beatles, right? They've, they were all, both masters of that. They were, uh, they were ahead of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Who's the biggest rock? Do you have a, have you only worked in like rock radio? Pretty much. Yeah. Rock pretty much. I did a little, uh, uh, adult contemporary, um, but mostly rock classic rock well, out of all the genres, I guess. So who, who, That's what makes it so surprising that you're going to flip the format to jazz. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I need to take a chance, you know, you got to keep it interesting. <laughs> 